Welcome to tutorial video 22.6. In this video, I'm going to show an extended example of improving our previous example of character statistics. Before I go into improving it, let's currently review what the character statistics example looks like. So here we have our initial use of three instances of the set macro. We are preparing brains, brawl, and points, all three story variables, notice the little dollar sign in front of them, to 0, 0, and 5, and then we're moving over to statistics, which housed most of the usages within this particular previous example. So notice we're combining the link macro with the if macro, and again with the set macro to create a kind of more complex example. Every time we clicked on the plus, we are assigning points to brains or bra correspondingly and also decreasing points. And we also saw down here how we could reset the whole thing. So let's go ahead and just play this just so we can see it in action. Statistics, and then every time we clicked correspondingly that named statistic increased by one, corresponding points decreased by one, and we could reset the whole thing. And what we saw in the previous example is particularly when we work with the link macro, we can return to or refresh the current passage when we're looking at it. And in this case, that was what was happening. So this was what was shown to the reader, the plus symbol, and then we were returning back to the same passage using that name, statistics, to create that passage transition every time we ran whatever was within that macro itself. Now, Based on our current knowledge of how the include macro works, we can make a couple of different improvements to this. Now, as we think about working with the include macro, we need to realize that depending on how we want to create our stories, there are multiple valid ways to approach things. So I'm gonna show one way of improving it with the include macro, but it doesn't necessarily make it better. A story matches whatever the author's design intents are. So if certain things work for you, you don't necessarily have to sort of quote unquote improve them if you don't necessarily want to. So if we wanted to, given what we have right here, we could say, hey, everything works exactly as intended. We're gonna leave this alone, this works great. But one of the ways we could make it slightly more efficient if we wanted was to embrace what we understand about the include macro. So as a quick review, the include, include macro allows us to reference the name of another passage and include its contents in that current position in another passage. This is particularly useful because it allows us to break up more complex stories into much smaller parts and have those each smaller parts do things. So this is the story as it currently stands in the previous example of character statistics. Now, if I were to improve it by using the include macro, I'd start to change things by adding a couple of passages and adjusting things. So I just went over what it currently looks like, and now I'm going to jump over to what I've changed it over to. So in the new version, there are two new passages, each of which are going to be included using the include macro in the two other existing passages. So let's step through what this looks like. So previously we saw in the start passage and in the statistics passage, there was the same three lines of the set macro. We were setting brains to zero, raw to zero, points to five. And those appeared exactly the same in two different passages in the exact same formatting. So over here in the start passage, I'm now using the include macro to include a new passage I'm calling reset statistics. Reset statistics is just those three lines. So because they occurred in two different passages in the exact same form, one of the ways to be slightly more efficient is to include them as part of a separate passage with those three lines. This decreases the length of the start passage to just two lines and also correspondingly decreases the statistics passage by another three lines. Now at the same time, the statistics passage had brains, brawl, and points spread out across it. We saw originally that brains, brawl, and points were three separate lines here. But if we wanted to, we could break them up into a separate passage and again use the include macro to include its contents right here in statistic, but potentially in another future passage as well. And so that's what I've done as well. Notice right here, include show statistics, show statistics, brains, brawl, and points right here. And notice statistics as well is now also including reset statistics, just like the start passage was. Now, as I mentioned before, as we think about improving and updating previous examples, there are always ways that we can improve things or ways we can match different preferences as it comes to 
how we design different stories, and especially how we design different stories in Sugarcube. Now, I mentioned the word improving because it's slightly more efficient from an organizational standpoint, but if this is slightly more confusing to you, especially because the include macro does not include those links to different passages, so sometimes it's hard to see their visual connection, it doesn't necessarily work for you, you don't necessarily have to use it. But it is another approach Sugarcube 2.36 allows us to use when creating interactive stories. So we can use the include macro to include the contents of one passage in another. And again, especially useful in cases where we have the same repeating lines of macros or the same repeating text. In this particular case, I took the original usages of the same three sets of the set macro from the start and statistics passages, combined them together, by including just a single passage reset statistics that's now included everywhere where that same three sets of set macros are being used. And the second usage I separated out shows statistics as its own passage. And then here in statistics, we're looking at those three variables and their three values. And potentially later, if later in the story, if it got more complex or had more passages, I could simply include this single passage, which has those three things I might want to show to then show them instead of writing the three lines again. Again, improvements depending on your perspective, and again, depending on author preferences as we create interactive stories. Thanks for watching.